What's up guys, it's your boy Legitimate here, back with another video, and today, um, since we just started our sneaker channel, um, I just thought it would be best to make a sneaker collection video, um, I just started collecting sneakers, um, probably about 10 months ago, I got into, like, more expensive sneakers and stuff like that, but, um, my collection is nothing crazy, believe me on that, and in this video I'm not trying to flex or, um, brag about any pair of shoes that I have, I'm just showing you guys what I got. Um, hopefully in the future my sneaker collection videos are, will be fire and we'll have better shoes. But for right now I just got some, nothing crazy, just some Adidas and regular Nikes. You guys know what the deal is. Um, so make sure you guys like the video. Um, first sneaker collection video, hopefully of many to come. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to comment down below some video ideas, whatever you guys got. And make sure to subscribe to the channel because only 15% of the people that are watching right now are subscribed according to my um, statistics. So 85% of you right now aren't subscribed to the channel, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm not going in any specific order, just from the bottom of my shoe rack to the top. So we're just gonna jump right into it. To start off, these are some Adidas d Runners. So I think I got these on the Adidas website for about 33 bucks. So back back about like 10 months ago, I was only into sneakers that were like cheap. So like if I could find a sneaker for under $40, I was going to buy it. So I really like this shoe, actually. I like the netting around it. And I mean, just kind of an underrated shoe in general. Just an underrated shoe silhouette. So I really like this shoe. got it for like $33 in February of 2019, I'm pretty sure. These were a Nike outlet pickup from probably three years ago. This is probably the oldest shoe I have. And um, these are just some like UNC trainers. You got the uh, UNC on the tongue right there. Um, just some UNC trainers I picked up at the Nike outlet. I don't remember how much they were, but probably like about forty dollars or less, um, if I had to say so. But I beat the crap out of these, so they got a lot of use to them. Next, I got some basketball shoes. These are some um, Kobe's Mamba Instincts. I also picked these up from the Nike outlet. Um, I'm pretty sure I got them for like thirty-five dollars, but I think my mom bought them for me. Um, yeah, I really like the shoe. Um, I wear them every once in a while when I play pickup basketball. Not my main pair of basketball shoes, but probably my second pair um, that I use the most are for ba basketball purposes. And uh, rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. A legend. Always will be. Next on my list, these Champion Court C Lows. I picked these up at Finish Line for $55. And um, the cheapest I saw them on Finish Line was like 30 So like... I bought them a little too early than earlier than I should, but um, I really like this shoe. It's very very clean. It's just white with this champion logo, and I just I really like the way this shoe. Oh. <laughs> I really just like the way this shoe fits, and um, it's a very comfortable shoe. And champions making a comeback. You guys already know. Next we got some neon Swift runs. I really don't know why I bought this shoe. Um, maybe because it was only like thirty seven dollars. I don't know, I, I just like buying cheap shoes, and this is what I bought. I really like the Swift Run model, but I probably shouldn't have got this neon color because it's just a little too much, but I'm not going to lie, I really love this shoe, but um, it's definitely one of the shoes I regret purchasing. So yeah, the neon Swift Run Adidas. These are some old shoes. These are literally nothing hype at all. I found these at like the Under Armour outlet, my um, back-to-school shoe as for my junior year because I'm a senior now. But um, these are obviously nothing crazy, just some navy blue Under Armour. Um, I really wore, wore these a lot as well, but um, nothing hype at all. So These are some Reebok Classic Leathers for only 40 bucks. Not one of my favorite shoes in my collection, but um, I really like the way it looks. I don't wear them very often, but I got them for my birthday, um, my 17th birthday last year. And um, my only pair of Reeboks, and I honestly love them, but I don't wear them that much. So, here are my Kyrie 3 uh, in the Duke colorway. Um, I got these at the Nike outlet as well. Pick up a lot of my shoes at the Nike outlet. I've had these since sophomore year, and these are the shoes I played basketball in. So, yeah, these are the, my main basketball shoes that I use. And to this day, I just cleaned them the other, uh, the other day, and they're pretty much in really good condition except for some cuts up here. But hopefully we'll be able to um, wear these shoes for basketball for in the next couple years before I buy another pair. So, yeah, I love this shoe. Uh, even though I'm not a Duke fan, I hate Duke, but um, 
I mean, this doesn't have to be Duke. It's royal blue, and that's the color my school uses the most. So, yeah, I just like that shoe. Right here, we got some red Nike Tangents. Was actually the most sold, like the um, most sold sneaker last year in the whole world. And uh, I, most of you sneaker heads probably never seen these, but every person has a pair. And uh, I got these for um, buy one get one half at Rack Room on Christmas last year, uh, 2018, not 2019. But yeah, looking to purchase some new red shoes coming up soon. Uh, I also got this tan colorway and the Tangents. Um, nothing crazy. I actually do like this shoe. It's a good fall shoe to wear. So, as I said earlier, my collection right now is nothing crazy. I got some, oh, almost dropped again. These were also part of the buy one get one half rack room deal. Um, obviously nothing crazy. Got some Nike Flex contacts, I'm pretty sure they're called. Uh, actually a really comfortable sneaker. And, um, I really like this print right here. It looks really cool, honestly, in my opinion, even though this is not a high pair of shoes. And I have worn these a lot, too. Next to my list are some Nike Air Force Ones. Um, I was just trying to see what laces look better, the white or the black, and I'm pretty sure black look better. It's hard to tell it's a Nike um, Air Force One, but you can obviously see the Air branding right there. So yeah, this is a Nike Air Force One in an all black colorway. Uh, my girlfriend got me these on East Bay, and um, yeah, pretty clean colorway. Got them for like 20% off of 90, so about 72 bucks. Pretty awesome. I'm definitely going to keep wearing them for a very long time. I got some old school Vans in this navy colorway. I've had these shoes a very long time as well. Probably since my sophomore year. And I've worn them like every Wednesday night to church forever. So yeah, I really still think this is a clean shoe. I might try to put some um, white laces in there. But um, I really like this shoe. And the um, khaki on the front, I think that looks really good. A Vans outlet pickup as well. Um, next pair of Vans is red checkered Vans. My girlfriend got me these as well as those Air Force Ones for my birthday. I love this shoe. My favorite pair of Vans right now. I love red and bl like the bread colorway in general. And this is really, really clean. It's something you can wear with so much. And I love this shoe so much. The slip-on Vans are probably my favorite. Um, also got the gray and black of these slip-on Vans. I might mismatch these sometime soon. I think that would look pretty good, honestly. And... You can't go wrong with Vans, $50 price point. I mean, what can beat slip-on Vans, honestly. Next on my list, some Puma RSX in the retro colorway. Uh, red, red, blue, and white. It's crazy. I love this shoe so much. I actually got it on finish line for $30. Uh, they were having a half-off deal, and this is one of the pairs. It was already discounted to 60 bucks, and they were down to 30 so... These retail at 110 so going from 110 to 30 that's $80 of savings right there. That's why you got to look for deals and stuff like that. I really, really like this shoe. It's more of a dad shoe, and I really like the way it looks. So I'm definitely glad I picked this up, and it's a shoe I'm going to keep wearing for a long time. Next on my list are these Pure Boost DPRs, or PDRs. It's one of those two. I think it's a DPR. But um, you obviously know Pure Boost, the model that were released before. Um, the Ultra Boost and more of like a light blue, not like a UNC blue, but like a, a darker UNC blue, if that makes any sense. Um, the a colorway that's actually called Raw Gray, so when I bought these I thought they were going to be more gray, but when I got them I realized that they were more of like a jean blue, but um, can't go wrong with Boost, the most comfortable material ever. I got some yellow and black and gray NMDs, got these for Christmas this year. Um, really love NMDs, always have and always wanted a pair, and uh, it's good because I got have a lot of shirts with yellow in it, so I can match these with a lot, or just like a white or black shirt. Yeah, I love it, it matches my shirt right now, but can't go wrong with a pair of NMDs, very clean shoe, and I love them. A pair of Ultra Boost 19s, um, in like an Oreo colorway. These are my cross country shoes for my senior season this year. And, um, yeah, I wore these the whole season, and, yeah, they are beat to the ground, but I cleaned them, tried to make them back to white, and very, very hard to do since there was so much dirt in there from running, but I genuinely love this shoe, and, yeah, Ultra Boost 19s, they can't compare to the 4.0s, but I still love Ultra Boost no matter what model they are. Up next, the Ultra Boost 4.0s, and this, like, 
um, cloud white colorway, not like the all white colorway, but obviously cloud white right there. Um, this this is a size eight and a half, but it's a little more snug than my other Ultra Boost for some reason. But I recently picked these up from FinalScore.com. It's like owned by Foot Locker for ninety bucks. So I got a pretty good deal out of these for ninety bucks. I uh, just picked them up in uh, January. I'm pretty sure. Great Ultra Boost 4.0s. Got these for Christmas. Absolutely love these. These definitely my favorite Ultra Boost to release. Um, yeah, m definitely like top three in my collection. Gray is my second favorite color, and I love the way this pair of shoes looks. And I'm definitely gonna wear these because they're so so comfortable for the many days to come. I love Ultra Boost so much. I got those for Christmas. If I didn't say. I, these are some Nike Eberdon Lows. These are like fake Air Force Ones. And uh, um, I got these for my birthday as well. Uh, not when I was into sneakers, but I was getting there, getting into sneakers. And yeah, these are some Nike Eberdon Lows. Fake, your poor man's Air Force Ones. Might do a customization on these just for a video in the future. But I mean, I do like the shoe, even though it's like, it's not Air Force One. I do like it because it's an all white shoe. And it goes with anything. So I really, really do like that shoe. Another top five shoe on my list. Um, Nike Air Max 1 and the Patriotic Colorway. Pick these up from the Nike Outlet as well for 60 bucks. And I actually had a $50 Tanger Outlets gift card. So I got these for 10 bucks. $10 shoes. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. I love this colorway. I'm, like, I love the American flag. So... I love what this shoe represents, and yeah, Air Max 1, such a clean shoe, Air Max is so great, I love the new Air Max 29s that just came out, um, yeah, that's one of my favorite shoes by far. Nike React Presto, and this royal blue colorway, my girlfriend got these for Christmas this year, and I love this shoe so much, this React right here is so so comfortable and I could honestly wear these shoes every single day because they're so comfortable I really really love this shoe I've worn it a bit since I've got it I'm definitely I'm um, gonna wear this shoe a lot in the summer because this is a summer colorway and I love the way this shoe looks as you all know my Jordan 3's UNC Jordan 3's love these shoes to death just picked them up this month um, what what can I say about them? They're amazing. My favorite color, UNC Blue. These are perfect in my opinion. My first pair of Jordans, hopefully many to, pairs to come. And just a clean shoe in my opinion. I love this shoe so much. And I'm glad this is my fa first pair of Jordans. You gotta have some Crocs in your collection. I've had these for over two years now, some camo Crocs. And wear these a lot actually. Uh, Crocs are just a shoe you can slip on and just walk out of the house with, and I love Crocs, honestly. No matter what anybody says, Crocs are comfortable, and they're stylish, and I like them. Another pair of Crocs, these are some white and black Crocs, actually, and, like, I got these with the Crocs print on them, and I put my own personal gibbets on there for, like, my, my favorite Disney movies, and I put Star Wars stuff on there, too. Um, I love Crocs because you can customize them the way you want them to look. Yeah, I really think this is a awesome shoe. And just a croc, a croc is just something you could slip on and wear anywhere. And it would still look good. So, yeah, these are my crocs. And last on my list, got some Era Vans in this American Flag Patriotic colorway. I really like these, actually. Um, they're a half a size too big. They're my brother's old shoes. And, uh, yeah, not much to say about these. Just some beaters that I can slip on, but they're too big for me anyways. So I might have to double sock to wear these. But yeah, these are some Vans. Love the way they look. And I don't wear them very often, but I still put them on my collection video. So yeah, that was my sneaker collection. This video is pretty long, so if you stuck through it, comment down below Reese's Puffs. And yeah, if y'all watched this video the whole way through, then y'all are for real a real fan. And I'm so glad that y'all have watched this video. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys comment. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that bell, make sure you guys have a great day, love you all, and peace out.